Hello guys, today we have a review of the speaker from China. This is speaker Xiaomi, Xiaomi, Xiaomi. So basically it's a speaker included uh, smart features or let's say a smart assistant from Xiaomi. So the price is really, really cheap. So it's the cheapest speaker that you can buy from Xiaomi and the price on AliExpress is less than $10. So it's around $9 you can buy it. So the battery is 300 mAh, so it's 2 watt charger, Bluetooth 5.0, up to 10 meters uh, range. So basically what's written here is the slide, Bluetooth, yeah, nothing special. So it's for Chinese market only. And here is finally USB Type-C. Uh, and it's only one of the cheapest speaker with type C. So let's open and see. So quite portable and small speaker. Let's see. The box is quite nice in a Xiaomi style. Uh, let's uh, open the speaker. So basically speaker here and what else? Nothing in the box. So charger, even no charger, no type C. They, they have space for Type-C, but they don't put it, so they save some money on this. But for $9, it's acceptable because the cable costs also around $1. So you have uh, Xiaomi app here. You also have some Chinese description and no English, of course. Everything in Chinese. And this uh, speaker only sells in China and known on other international markets. Uh, so basically it's only for China. It was produced in 2020, summer, June, yeah, 2020. So basically let's open the speaker. So it goes in the back, it is not quite eco-friendly. Basically what you have inside is just a speaker and a box, that's it. So that's how it looks like, really, really small. It's uh, you have uh, on on a bottom uh, some gum here, so you also the same description as in the box, the date of production, etc. So that's how it can be. You can put it like this or put it on a bottom. Actually, up to you. So basically, also quite convenient. You can set it up to your needs. And on top you've got microphone, so you can call from this one and two buttons uh, power and Xiaomi, so basically a Xiaomi assistant. Also, I, I will tell you how I fix this button to fix it with Google Assistant. That's also quite convenient. From also, yeah, you've got Type-C here, as you see, a uh, logo of Xiaomi. And that's it from the front. You have some small uh, LED indicator when you charge it is red or green when it's just turned on. So the plastic is uh, looks good actually, not not bad quality, but still you've got already scratches after using it after like several times. I don't use it that much. So be ready that it will have some scratches. It's just plastic, but uh, the quality of plastic is not that bad. So it's actually a lightweight a size. It's really small and Type C. So there's the advantages of the speaker. So let's turn it on. So that's how it turn on. And then you have the sound all the time when it's turned on and it cannot be disabled. Also, you've got this LED indicator that's on. So basically I turn it off. So you have the sound all the time that it's uh, not really good, but you cannot disable it. So <laughs> that's how it is, uh, is how Chinese made it. So I will take Xiaomi phone, Mi 8. Let's connect it. So I turned on Bluetooth. I already connected it before, but yeah, basically it's connected again. So you see you have this uh, like iPhone style connection that is quite handy and looks good. So let's try to connect it again. Let me disable everything. So I disable it. So now let's wait a bit, uh, a couple seconds. As you see, is this connected? I don't know why it didn't show the connection. Let's try it one more time. So let's see. 
well, looks good, looks like on an iPhone. Find me portable speaker and you just click connect. So now it's connected. Then you have the battery status and then done. So that's it. So basically in settings, nothing special. So just regular Bluetooth settings. But fast pairing works really good and looks really nice. The codec is a SBC and the battery is 100%. So the battery shows quite uh, quite correct. Each 10% is goes down like 90, 80, 70% of charging. So basically that's it from the function. So you see LED indicator is uh, showing right now and it's on a green light. Then you have the button. So as you see, when I click on this button, I activate the uh, MIUI, uh, activate the Google Assistant and then you can use it and turn on and turn on the bluetooth and other features when you say it so basically it's quite good some from time to time the sound is doesn't work well but still it's working so i tell turn on the music and it's turned on the music but still uh, works well so basically from time to time it's saying quite bad quality but this button works with google assistance but actually in the description it shows that you can only connect it to cell i i will show you how to connect it to the speaker so now let's test the sound the sound quality i have youtube here without copyrights music so let's test it So basically, uh, I don't know whether you can hear it or no, but when you put it on a minimum sound, you have some additional noise. So basically, it's uh, not that good. But when when you have the maximum volume, you can hear it. You, you cannot hear it, basically. So that's not that good that it has it on a minimum volume when you need it to listen before sleep or just when you're in the house. The second disadvantage is that you cannot put any handler here. So you cannot put it on your hand or on your backpack. That is also not that convenient. So the only one way you can put it here in the front somehow, or you need to drill it somewhere, or you need to glue it. Also not convenient to put this handle. So that's the second disadvantage. The third disadvantage is sound is quite noisy and you cannot disable it. Basically, it's also not good for me. It's okay, but uh, still, I don't really like it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I recommend to buy, I think for $9, it's really good uh, small portable speaker. If you need such uh, format of speaker I, I think it's really good option especially when you can set up the google assistant it also works not bad so really recommend to buy and thank you very much for watching and see you next time